I have been raging on this show on and on and on about um, how Christopher Columbus is just a simple target for the anti-fights and the anarchists and the Black Lives Matter paid protesters. Um, because, you know, Italians, not a, not a small group, by the way. I think uh, African-Americans, like 14% of America, Italian-American heritage is like 6%. So it's, you know, not that small of a group. But, um, you know, they don't go out and protest. They go to work. They lay bricks and, and, and they do, you know, hard, they, they work. So they're not conditioned to be protesters. So um, I feel like somebody's got to speak up for Columbus. He found the place. He found America. The Nina, the Pinta, and Santa Maria. In 1942, he sailed the ocean blue. Remember all that stuff? Um, that's why they call it the District of Columbia, where, where the capital is, Columbia for Columbus. Um, this guy might be the guy that many people can identify with and maybe start a little grassroots movement to protect Columbus. But... Um, my friend Carla sent me this video. A couple other people sent it to me after. Um, but just take a listen to this dude, okay? And think about what he's saying. And think about why we should be a little more outraged when people want to start ripping down Christopher Columbus statues. Take a look at this. Hey, all you little bastards that knocked down the Christopher Columbus statue. I guess you thought you were real cute. Well, you know, I really don't care about Christopher Columbus either. But as an Italian-American man who came from four grandparents from Italy, I care about the people that statue represented. What, you, what a lot of you little bastards today don't know is, many years ago, the Italian kids from Summit in New Providence were discriminated against just as much as anybody else was today. And they never cried, they never complained, they never knocked down statues and protested. All they ever did was fight for this country. They went to war for this country. They fought for it, they bled for it, and they died for all you little assholes today that knocked down statues. That's what they did. They gave up their dreams to fight for this country. And you know what? You little bastards didn't knock down Christopher Columbus. You knocked down a lot of guys I knew all my life, guys who were like dads and brothers to me. That's who you knocked down. You knocked down guys like Larry Fabrizio and Johnny Nigro. Larry Masterbone and Johnny Gennetti, Raymond Sorelli, Jimmy Castaldo, Sal Pino, Jimmy and John Luciano, Pat Riola. You knocked down two guys from Summit who never came home. Sam Colangelo, Bobby Petraco. They fought for the freedom you have today to be the all that you are. But I totally can't even blame you, you little bastards. I blame your parents because they ain't worth the powder to themselves to hell. The only thing I'm happy about is someday you're going to see those guys I named. I wouldn't want to be you. God bless this beautiful country and all you little bastards that have the freedom those guys fought for. Goodbye. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say that I, you know, call it like I see it. I'm, I'm, I say it as it is. Nobody said it better than that guy. Larry Fabrizi, Jimmy and John Luciano never came back from the war, Sam Colangelo. I don't know any of these people. But you could tell what the guy was saying was Italian people, that was something that they looked up to. And they went to war for the country. And if they have one person that deserves a monument, leave their monuments alone. Because you're actually knocking down those people that came and looked up to that and then went to war for us to fight for the actual freedoms and liberties that allow you to go out and rip down statues like a bunch of thugs.